Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Sir Thought and I'd like to introduce you to Jr. Well, apparently, STL just updated, um, not the Zagor. So, is this the mysterious, um, alien creature that's supposedly attacking everybody in the, um, Doctor Quadrant that's doing all this damage and the mysterious people? So, yeah, the Zagors are dangerous and aggressive, though. There could be a major problem for our ships in Delta Quadrant. It is uh, for half the best, then Starfleet Intelligence puts on a total active number at less than 500. There are remains of the dead race. While we were, while we mourned the loss, we do not miss the chaos they seem to have shown in the quadrant. And then, of course, you see, this is like one of their, I guess, their captains, yeah, and this is their symbol. So when you see the symbol, that's a dog war symbol. And you see that symbol? Then you got these guys, yeah, I guess these guys are like in training. The Vogwars got tyrants, and tyrants usually meet with an uh, untimely to end. So to the Thogwar and the Earth. 1484, oh, I didn't know that. That's like our time. A little war against the Vogwar, the Hongwar got devastated by all the orthodox environment. At the time, would lead to there were no survivors. Uh, this group here took control of the inner space and took out of the dog wars. Yeah, like right there, 2376 the crew of Voyager was pulled into an inner space tunnel and encountered this other group. Yeah, the dog was crying, there had been they found a battalion of Vogwar warriors in stasis units. Of course, Captain Jane Lee being the smartest she is, well, let's break these people off. We don't think these people should be in a stasis chamber. How cruel to them. So, Wick and the Vogwar first agreed it, and then uh, quickly turned out that the crew, okay, tried to seize the ship. The Vogwars were defeated with the help of the uh, this group. And unfortunately, 53 dog wars should escape uh, from this under space, which I guess got their prison. See, even if this dog war technology is 900 years out of date, it took a, a significant effort on their part to catch up to Stacy who has passed by them. But the net, uh, from what we know of the dog war, they need challenges head on. This is one of the issues that we'll have to overcome. So, as you can see, I guess this is the dog wars. Okay, there to show right there, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon's Teeth, Season 6, Episode 7 of Star Trek Voyager, to learn about the Vogwars. And that's another reason why I'm actually starting to watch the Voyager shows. So when they post this link right here, uh, Dragon Teeth, I'll actually go back. So later on, I'll jump on my, um, I'll see which one has it. Because I got both Hulu and Netflix, so I'll jump on to which one has it. You know, or actually has a better looking because sometimes Hulu looks better than there's other times Hulu looks crappy because of the little uh, wheel of depth type thing. So I'll go to Netflix and watch it on Netflix, depending on you know what's going on. But you see right there. So do you want to find out about the Vogor at the TV show Dragon's Teeth season six episode seven? Now you can find out this mysterious race that were basically fighting. And I'm guessing that's who the mysterious race is. Because when you start the missions, you keep hearing about this uh, unknown species that's uh, doing all this damage. And these guys keep showing up and disappearing. And you see the symbol. So I'm guessing that it's them. I'm guessing. Then we'll go up here. Because they also just posted something else. There it is. Delta Ryzen, and there it is, the little fringies. Yes, I misspelled it when I uh, 
posted the um, thing to our fleet page and our fleet thing. But, um, okay. We're celebrating this amazing expansion and giving away 20 Lottie Crystals each day on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this coming weekend. Okay, when does it start? So this Friday, October the 24th, Saturday, October the 25th, and Sunday, October the 26th, between 12, okay, so basically 12 noon to 12 midnight. Alright, all right. thank you for the name. Settle update, me, Lily, Dalton. I'm guessing they're probably doing the rerun things. Because usually when they do the, the rerun, that's when you get these uh, Lottie the Crystals. And then they got that one mission that's on the uh, the Dari planet. Uh, for some reason, you can't get that Lottie that Lodi Crystal because it's inside the planet. When they did it, they did it, uh, um, you know, they didn't do it right, basically. Because you can't get that one Lodi that's on the Dari planet. I've got all the other ones, but I just can't get that one to complete it on the Dari. Then there was something else I wanted to show you. Okay, yeah, you got that one. Okay, I don't want that. Now this got posted like last weekend. And that's where I'm at right now. That Kadali Kothron. I wonder if that's this one. Yeah, they're the one that got posted yesterday. Tuvok returns. And they actually go into details about Tuvok and how they designed him. And like right there, well, in 32 years that they had a make him look aged and old and all that stuff, creating Tuvok. So this was a very interesting story. And this is actually some of the scenes from, you know, all his different, you know, um, I guess it's seven years, I think, is how long Voyager went. And these are all the different ones. And then you can see the different looks and style. So this was a good read. And there's the blog right there. If you want to read about, you know, why he came back and this other stuff. So not only does Tim Ross as T Doc bring the fan and join it to his character uh, to life. But he indirectly helped uh, greatly expand the player options to their own characters. And you can see like facial impressions. And that's the one thing I like about this new game engine. Well, it's not really the, the, it's not a new game engine. It's like new coding, I guess I want to say. Where you can see like in this one, he kind of like, you know, like, okay. And then this one, he's like surprised, I guess. This one, he's like stern looking, like, okay. You know, I'm gonna have to challenge you. It's kind of stern look, but you can kind of see, even though he's bulking, but you can kind of the point, you know, the eye, the brows, you know, the mouth, the gestures, you know. And you see right there the process of the digitalizing Tim. Uh, as two doc the game by collecting many reference images, Google and Netflix, they have all the Star Trek available to stream. I just true. I just true. Uh makes this easy. Ideal images usually include even lighting and default expressions. Luckily Dean and Vulcan uh means couldn't much uh any expression is a default. <laughs> I like that. Okay, obviously a range of angles is desired, and you can see the different angles, like, you know, which is true, I mean, that's one of the other things why I love playing this game, 
you know, if you enjoy watching the TV show, and even though there is no Star Trek show on right now, uh, that you want to follow your character that you kind of grew up with, you enjoy, well, Star Trek Online, you can follow them. Like this one right here, and, you know, Tulak, he's the Admiral of the Delta Quadrant, you get to talk to him, and today I got to meet Harry Kim today. Okay, now I just wanted to do a quick out. I'm wondering, this guy right here, is this the mysterious, um... Hmm... There it is, Lionel. See, Nick and Nick thought I I just got there today and met Harry Kim. There's the uh, Guardian shit, the tier 6 one. Okay, stories of the Delta Quad. I wonder if this is... Take a good look at that the way to Okay, never mind. I thought I would kind of give out what each mission is. Because I do like how they've done the Delta Quadrant. I mean, it is a very good sort of challenge story. Now, I put the disc one a little while ago. Yeah, because right there, the one mission you do, you deal with this one right here. Ancient enemies and ancient force looms over the Delta Quadrant. And we need every day to cast them through operation to Delta to Dangor, a dangerous and aggressive thaw. We're extending and right to taste countless worlds are being obliterated and are ter terrifying world half. I'm going to the combined efforts of the Federation, the Clan Defense, and the Ronin Republic. We have the host of the Thetis on this and synonymous with them. And that's the one right there, Tier 6, and these are intelligent officers. And there's the crew, the Navy friends, right now. So I guess I got to meet these people, and I got to the Kadali, and I got to meet these people, and started fighting these people. That's who this mysterious character is, the Fog Wars. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The people who have uh, not done Delta Quadrant, and you uh, don't want to know who the mysterious person is, don't watch this stream then. Because I'm guessing this is who it is, the ancient enemies. So... Um, I'm gonna go ahead in this string here and get this one uploaded, but right now I got my other one uploading and I just got done running around Kadali and I mean uh Kadali In fact I wanna take a look at that one I didn't look at that one string earlier. Come on. Actually, why is doing that?
What the hell class did? Yeah, that's the new one right there. That's the one they just posted and they also posted this one here yesterday. That one just came out today. It's not a nice show. Come on. There it is. Right there. That's what I want to say. That's what I thought it. Oh, I skipped that whole line. And I just went to here today. So when you watch my stream today, that's where I am. Uh, Cause all adventures on author was an art, art team, the chance to explore. Music to include the uh, other culture design. Yeah, our goal is to create our artistic vision of Kabali, uh, the digitally represent unique culture and beliefs of this tissue. There's we observe the Kabali were cultural understanding their clothes were not gunky, their food was not as great taste. Yeah, that's true. See, when I see that right there, that actually reminds me of when you go play Star Wars Old Republic and you're going back to the, um, um, drama cost and you have to go into the Sith, uh, the Sith, uh, Citadel, uh, temple thing. That reminds me of, you know, the Sith Citadel, just seeing that right there. Here, took a dolly costumes. Oh, so they do have the kind of a cross bow type gun. Yeah, because that's all one of the guys running around. I'm like, uh, does that guy got a, um, you know, a Wookiee cross bow gun? Into a warrior monk. Yeah, that's a different, different ones. He's the one here at the soldier, that one to scout. That's like the general right there. The invader. Meanwhile, a title invading tissue of the Zogor. And they're gonna planetary days in a Kadali Prime to regions yet unknown. They have foregone an orbital to dart in a Kadali city, instead digging in with trenches, uh, turrets, and bunkers to mount a furious tunnel assault, which I got to see today. Mike Dog Stage? Oh wow, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, to look up, see, there's a shit floating up in the air. 
Okay, during this white box stage, consists of trying for. Yeah, it does look like that when I kind of was going to run around. See what everything's in and see. As you see right there, I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope you'll be too. So, like I said, looking at this, ladies and gentlemen, if you all, you know, played the Legends of Romulus and got to run around Romulus and unlocked all those missions and do all of those, um, you know, missions around Romulus, this is basically what Kodali Prime is. And once you get all of Kodali unlocked, then you'll get dailies where, just like Romulus, you can go back to Romulus and do these dailies that are Romulan marks. Well, and what I'm thinking and seeing, uh, once you run around, you do everything, you'll unlock these missions where you did a run back and get your, your marks you need for Delta marks. Once you run around and get them all unlocked. And there's the people who are detecting the Kodalis. I did see one running around like that, and I was like, eh, he's got a wiki, a wiki crossbow gun. And that reminds me, when I seen that, and when I came walking in, this that not back here, you can see it right there. You know, and I came in, like, oh wow, they got a Sith Senator, we know how Sith Imperials, uh, Sith, um, Sith Lords around here. <laughs> that reminds me of the Sith Lords, uh, Citadel on the, uh, Dronikos. And this is very, very interesting. And that's how it looks. And the, uh, you go back and forth because this is your command center here that you keep running to to talk and turning missions in and picking up the next one. And now, like I said, this is where I am now today, ladies and gentlemen. And I hit level 53, and this is a level 53 level. So once you get it unlocked, this is where you'll be doing level 53, and then you get a bunch of dailies. Just like Romulus, once you get everything unlocked, it comes dailies there. So you can level up from 53 all the way up to 60. Alright. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a break right here. I'm gonna upload that one because we finally hit little uh tier two with our star days and I just did a video upload which is still uploading in the background. Uh, but the SAS lead has finally got tier Thor done. Um I did start a uh based uh a um star base um bridge officer trainer. So for all you people it's a night lead. Instead of having to go to ESD to get your bridge officer training, you won't have to do that no more. You'll now be able to start coming to our our star base and start getting you know your bridge officer training at our star base once we get the that project now completed. But like I said, as of late last night, um, the uh, oh I want to say probably eight eightish nineish. Uh, the tier, uh, tier day storm finally uh, got done counting down, finally. Oh, hello, Kyle. Um, you know, finally got done, uh, you know, last night, and then Sherry was asking me to, you know, go ahead, because Sherry did work at the moment, because Sherry does handle our fleet projects. And, uh, so, like I said, Sherry, I did jump on last night and got that, uh, uh, Start the bridge, uh, bridge trainer project started. So, let me go check on this project and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Click like button, dislike button, and live long and prosper now. Goodbye.